Howdy. My name is Austin Ford and I'm a program coordinator in the Honors Undergraduate Research Office at Texas A&M University. You'll most likely meet me working with Honors Student Council, advising appointments, or working with our Undergraduate Teacher Scholars Program. Today I want to talk about a few things in terms of maintaining your Honors Student status as a continuing student through the University Honors Program as you pursue the Honors Fellows Distinction. Probably the first and most important part in terms of continuing through the University Honors Program is maintaining a 3.5 cumulative GPA. The reason this is really important is in terms of on campus, registering for an honors course requires a 3.5 GPA. Also important is in terms of as you're ready to graduate, even for a student who has completed all the requirements for the university honors program, if they fall below that 3.5 threshold, then they're not able to graduate with the honors distinction there as well, even for a 3.4999. So we really want to maintain that high active performance throughout your career here at Texas A&M. One of the other things we want to talk about is participating in Honor Student Council events. As a continuing Honor Student, either in your second, third, or fourth year here on campus, you're required to attend one Honor Student Council event each academic semester here at the, for the University Honors Program. In terms of the rationale for this basis, is Honor Student Council programs activities and events that can showcase the results and experiences that are here on campus for students to engage with, and also helps to build a better community for the University Honors Program students as well. Another requirement is the e-portfolio, or electronic portfolio that we have for students. This is a way for students to document their growth, their development, and the changes they undergo from their first day here on campus until graduation day here at the university there as well. The e-portfolio is a great way for students to talk about the, what they've done in terms of coursework, what they've had an opportunity to do in terms of projects, as far as exams, in terms of you know, shadowing opportunities, in terms of internships. And those are things that we think students would be benefit in terms of having a repository, but also a showcase for the type of work they've done here on campus as well. One of the last things I want to talk about in terms of that aspect is the credit hour or expectation that we have for students each academic year. The expectation is that students do six honors credit hours each year here at Texas A&M. Now the honors fellows distinction requirement is 30 credit hours. What that means is if you only do six credit hours each academic year for the university honors program, you'd actually fall below the requirements for the distinction itself. And so that this expectation has for students at some point in time will be do to go above and beyond the bounds of the uh, six credit hours so that students can complete the honors fellow distinction there as well. But we also want to make sure that students are open to other activities, other opportunities, other experiences. And so if you do a study abroad, maybe spring semester of your junior year, or if you do an internship in the fall of your senior year, you can still pick up the six credit hours of academic coursework through that entire academic year there as well. We just provide some flexibility for students too. Those are the requirements that we have for the continuing honor students for the University Honors Program in terms of making progress towards the Honors Fellows Distinction. And if you have any individual questions about that, you can come and see me or one of my colleagues. You can visit our website at hur.tamu.edu or you can call us at 979-845-1957. Thank you and giga.